Today we're getting a first look at New York's hottest new attraction, the new wing of the Museum of Natural History, the Richard Gilder Center. The $456 million expansion is going to be the perfect spot for families, tourists, and anybody who wants to explore. Let's find out if this is worth visiting in 2023. The Gilder Center for Science, Innovation, and Education is opening today, and it's a 230,000 square foot building on the western side of the museum, adjacent to Central Park. Admission if you live in New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut, pay what you wish. $28 if you are not from the area. Highly recommend you pre-book the extras that we're gonna show you later if you're interested in them. This is the Kenneth C. Griffin Exploration Atrium, and this is the crown jewel of the Gilder Center. It's what you see in all the photos. You get a ton of natural light in here because of the large-scale skylights, the texture, color, flowing forms of this atrium, all inspired by canyons in the southwestern United States, and you really get that vibe as you walk through. You know, how many museums can you think of that builds this kind of a seating area where you could just sit and marvel at this, at the canyon looking elements. I love the skylights too, it's a really nice touch. And when you look from the outside, I don't know, I get this Gaudi-esque vibe for anyone who's ever been to any of his works in Barcelona. This is also gonna be an extremely Instagrammable museum. All these little nooks and crannies you can find to sit and hang out. I'm absolutely in love with the interior and exterior here. Davis Family Butterfly Vivarium. There is extra admission to this, and there's over 1,000 different free-flying butterflies all around here. Like They're everywhere, even up on the ceiling. And you literally can't avoid the butterflies here. They are all around you. They will even fly on top of you. I've never been to a indoor exhibit quite like this one before. They made this environment perfect for butterflies. It feels like it's 80 degrees and humid right now. You can see the trees even dripping water. If you're quick enough, you can even identify which butterfly is coming up to you. Over 80 species are out every single day. So this is a special type of water, you said? No, just sugar water. For others you'll see with fruit in the bins. They arrive from Costa Rica. This one just, a shipment just arrived from Ecuador. We unpack them and we hang them and the butterflies emerge here. Butterflies make a chrysalis and moths make a cocoon, which is the silky cover around that chrysalis. You see almost every stage of the butterflies here because they were telling me that they're now in the stage right before they become adults. They let them hang here and when they're ready, they actually pop out. Like this one here literally just popped out today and I learned a sad fact. Butterfly adults don't live maximum past six or seven months. I, I actually never knew. So come enjoy them during their, I would say, relatively short lifespan. Make sure you don't bring any hitchhikers. The Susan and Peter J. Solomon Insectarium open to the public, no extra admission, and you can spot 18 species of live insects, honeypot ants, hissing cockroaches, if that's your thing. Wait, I hear something. I hear something. Okay, if you're afraid of bees, you are gonna not enjoy this. This is what it's like to be inside of a beehive. Well, let's be a bee. All right, we can actually compose our own insect chorus. Day, night. All right, I wanna go back to my childhood, cicadas. It's like, the, this is the sound of summer when you go to sleep at night. You even hear the New York City sirens. Oh, we can play them all at once. Literally as an orchestra. Oh, that's the worst sound, the mosquito. <laughs> No thank you. Fun fact of the day, insects outnumber humans over one billion to one. So the next time a mosquito bites you, just remember you are really outnumbered. You're gonna hear me saying this over and over during the video, but I think this is a great destination for families with children. If you are into insects, you are gonna love the insectarium. If you're not, well, at least I think you'll learn a lot of cool facts. I am so hungry right now. Look at all these options we got here. Chorizo chili, jalapeno lime cheddar chicken. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh and I've worked with them in the past, so you know I'm already a fan. Having an infant at home for Adriana and I, sometimes what to eat for lunch or dinner is the last thing on our minds and cooking with all the preparation and going grocery shopping or even going out to eat can just be so much work. And that's where Factor comes in. So if you're too busy to cook this made with Factor, skip that trip to the grocery store, skip the chopping, prepping, cleaning up, Factor's fresh, never frozen meals ready 
in just two minutes. All you have to do is heat, enjoy, then get back outside, enjoy that warm, fresh weather, or in my case, go back to filming. It's also a great way to help pad your budget. It is cheaper than takeout and faster than restaurant delivery. Remember, two minutes. As a mom, I'll take anything that saves me time. And if it's delicious, it's even better. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use our promo code HEREBAR50 for 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com, HEREBAR50 for 50% off your first Factor box. All right, this is gonna put the Van Gogh exhibits to shame. This is a 12 minute looping experience. Remember, this does cost extra. You gotta book it in advance. Feels like I'm about to walk into one of those observation decks right now. How all life is connected, so enjoy. How all life is connected. Wow. I am uh, immersed in life. This is gonna keep changing, get ready. The entire room is immersive here. Everything. There is no bad seat in the house. Always exit through the gift shop. You know what I think? This is the future of attractions in the world. It's not just sitting in a movie theater. No, you are walking around, you're being immersed in whatever it is you're watching. And there you are immersed in a really good science show, which is totally worth the price of admission. You know, just as a piece of architecture, the Gilder Center is breathtaking. Really, really nice. It feels like I'm rock climbing in Utah. The research library on the fourth floor is open to the public and they have more than 500,000 volumes and extensive collections of rare, unique natural science books, archives, photographs, moving images, art, a whole lot more. This is definitely a place that I can get behind. Need a little breather, a long day of sightseeing, sit here, enjoy the views. It almost has a, an Alice in Wonderland feel to this room. Because the museum has millions of different objects, 3,000 of them are actually available on different floors as part of the collections. So you can see things like dinosaur fossils, camera equipment, anything to do with natural earth, science, all over, all included in your cost of admission. I find it fascinating that you have scientists working here every day. They're even in the background doing stuff. As you browse, they're working, bringing it to life for you. They are literally lining up the museum. So this is opening up to the public in 18 minutes. I should just like circle in and be the first tourist to go. I want to remind everybody that there's a lot more to the Museum of Natural History than just the Gilder Center. You could spend the whole day roaming all the exhibits. I absolutely think this is worth it. If you need to do just one museum for your whole trip and you have a family, this has got to be near the top of your list. I'm a huge fan of it. I'm so happy we got to explore it. Now that you know about the hottest new attraction in New York, what else should you visit this year? Watch this video to find out about all the new openings in 2023. Head here next.